Alright, hello everybody, it's Todd, all things archery and shooting, and today some field notes lessons we're going to talk about gap shooting. Now there's been a lot of different videos done on gap shooting, but all of them, at least ones I've seen on YouTube, are kind of hard to understand or follow correctly. I'm going to show you the system that works for me for gap shooting, and maybe it can work for you. Basically what gap shooting is, let me explain to you, is you're figuring out your gap on your distances from different yardages. And it's kind of like Kentucky windage, but once you get your gap figured out, know where your gap is with your bow and arrow combination, you train your subconscious mind and your muscle memory to always know what those gaps are, and you do it without even thinking about it, okay? I've been shooting bows for a lot of years now, and for a lot of years I was shooting them wrong. And I learned gap shooting about six months ago, and I've been practicing every day with it, and it's a much better system that i found that works for me. I've tried other systems as well. You have other, other systems that work quite well too for short distance. But when I'm shooting long distance, I use gap. When I say long distance, I mean like 15, 20, 30, 35, 40 yard distance. All right? What we're gonna do, we're using an October Mountain Products 50 pound recurve bow. I'm shooting 540 grain arrows. My draw length is 29 inches, so I'm pulling about 53 pounds. What you're gonna need is a target. You're gonna need an aiming point. And you're also gonna need a cardboard layout with inches. Each one of these inches are three inches going up, okay? And you see this is lined up with the center. My aiming point's gonna be right here. You never change your aiming point. And we're gonna start at five, then go to 10, then to 15, then to 20, to 25, then 30, until we find our point on. Now, point on means if I put my point on my arrow right here, at that point on distance, whatever distance may be, it'll hit there every time. My point on runs about 33, 34 yards other distances because the arc of the arrow are going to be different heights that's where you got to remember your gap so let's go ahead and try this at five yards first and get it a, give it a chance okay move to five yards and we'll shoot five arrows okay five yards shooting five arrows Okay. All right, that's at five yards, okay? As you can see, all my group is right here. I had one, let me get this one out of the way because it's kind of, that was a bad, that was a bad release. But all my arrows are grouping right here, probably within a couple inches. And if you look, those are grouping right at about 10 inches high. So at five yards, with my point of my arrow aimed right here, trying to the point of my arrow, see right here, my gap at five yard shooting distance is going to be 10 inches high, okay? I'll just move back to 10 yards and see what it does. Okay, 10 yards. All right, hello everybody, it's Todd, all things archery and shooting, and today, um, field notes lessons we're gonna talk about gap shooting now there's been a lot of different videos done on gap shooting but all of them at least ones I've seen on YouTube are kind of hard to understand or follow correctly I'm gonna show you the system that works for me for gap shooting and maybe it can work for you basically what gap shooting is let me explain to you is you're figuring out your gap on your distances from different yardages and it's kind of like Kentucky windage but once you get your gap figured out know where your gap is with your bow and arrow combination you train your subconscious mind and your muscle memory to always know what those gaps are and you do it without even thinking about it, okay? I've been shooting bows for a lot of years now and for a lot of years I was shooting them wrong. And I learned gap shooting about six months ago and I've been practicing every day with it and it's a much better system that i found that works for me. I've tried other systems as well. You have other, other systems that work quite well too for short distance. But when I'm shooting long distance, I use gap. When I say long distance, I mean like 15, 20, 30, 35, 40 yard distance. All right, what we're gonna do, we're using an October Mountain Products 50 pound recurve bow. I'm shooting 540 grain arrows. My draw length is 29 inches, so I'm pulling about 53 pounds. What you're gonna need is a target, you're gonna need an aiming point, and you're also gonna need a cardboard layout with inches. Each one of these inches are three inches going up, okay? 
and you see this is lined up with the center. My aiming point's going to be right here. You never change your aiming point. And we're going to start at 5, then go to 10, then to 15, then to 20, to 25, then 30 until we find our point on. Now point on means if I put my point on my arrow right here, at that point on distance, whatever distance may be, if it'll hit there every time. My point on runs about 33, 34 yards. The other distances, because of the arc of the arrow, are going to be different heights. That's where you got to remember your gap. So let's go ahead and try this at five yards first and get it a, give it a chance. Okay, move to five yards and we'll shoot five arrows. Okay, five yards, shooting five arrows. Okay. All right, that's at five yards, okay? As you can see, all my group is right here. I had one, let's get this one out of the way because it's kind of, it was a bad, it was a bad release. But all my arrows are grouping right here, probably within a couple inches. And if you look, those are grouping right at about 10 inches high. So at five yards, with my point of my arrow aimed right here, trying to the point of my arrow, see right here, my gap at five yard shooting distance is going to be 10 inches high, okay? I'll just move back to 10 yards and see what it does. Okay, 10 yards. Now this is 10 yards, as you can see here, 10 yards. I'll throw this one out because it was a bad release. That's why we shoot five because you get a bad release. But you see four group within two inches, and I'm shooting 18 inches high at 10 yards. So that means that my gap at 10 yards with my aiming point right here with this 53 pound recurve at my draw length, I'm shooting 18 inches high at 10 yards. Okay? Now we're going to go back to 15 yards and see if that changes anything. So remember, we got 10 inches and then 18 inches. Moving to 15 yards.
Okay, as you can see, this is my group at 15 yards. Move this out of the way. This is my group at 15 yards. Give me that one flyer there. And if you remember, my last group at 10 yards was also 18 inches. Same groups at 18 inches. So that tells me my 15 yard group and my 10 yard group are identical. Okay? So at 15 yards, I'm 18 inches high. And at 10 yards, I'm 18 inches high. All right, let's move back to 20 yards and see what it does. Okay? So I remember we're at. Five yards, we were 10 inches high. 15 were, or 10 yards, we were 18 inches high. 15 yards, we're still 18 inches high. So let's move back to 20 yards and see where we come up to then. Okay, this is my 20 yard groups. We're in this one flyer here. That's where the group's at. Okay, as you can see, that is 15 inches high now. So you now see it's starting to come down. It's because the parabolic arc of the arrow is starting to come down. So at 20 yards, we got 15. So let's review now. Five yards, we were 10 inches. 10 yards, we were 18 inches. 15 yards, we were 18 inches. Now 20 yards, we're about 15 inches here. So again, let's review, okay? At 5 yards, we were 10 inches. At 10 yards, we were 18 inches. At 15 yards, we were 18 inches. Now at 20 yards, we're coming down, I'd probably say about 16 inches right now. So we're starting to come back down. Okay, let's move out to 25 yards and see what we got. Remember, we're, tr remember, we're trying to find our point on. Okay, 25 yards. Okay, now as you, as you can see, at 25 yards, my gap is probably, let's get rid of this one here, that was a bad release, but right here, I would say maybe seven, eight inches, somewhere in there. So, let's see, we're coming back down at 25 yards now, we're sort of coming down. I know from, uh, from previous experience, my point on is gonna be at 32 yards. So that means at 32 yards, I put my broad head here, on my point here, it'll hit right here. So this is a 25 yard. Let's go down to 30 and see what we got.
Okay. As you can see, 30 yards, I get a little bit sloppy on my things. This is just a bad release. I knew when I let it go, it's a bad release. This one here, take it out of the way. Go off this three arrow group. I am now, say, five inches at 30 yards. So my point on is about 32, 33 yards. So let's let's move to um, our point on. Now, remember, 30 yards where it's six inches. So let's move to my point on, which is about 33, 32 yards, and see where I hit at. All right. Okay, so that was at 33 yards. Let's get rid of this one and this one. As you can see, at 33 yards, my point on is right where it's supposed to be at. Okay? So, that is how you find your gap. Now, what you got to do from here on out is practice that gap and memorize it. Do what I did. I wrote it down in a little notebook and carry with me. But this recap, so you know, I know these by heart because I've done this so long. At 5 yards, we're about 9 inches. 9, 10 inches. At 10 yards, we're between... 17 and 18 inches. 15 yards between 17 and 18 inches. 20 yards were about 15 to 16 inches. 25 yards were dropping down to about 10 inches. 30 yards were at right about six, 5 to 6 inches. And at 33 yards, I am point on. Okay? So that tells me from, say, my 10 yard to my 25 yard, I'm within an 8 inch area of shooting or hunting an animal, okay? Most of my, my effective range with this bow is I can shoot 30 yards, but as you see, I only got three in the target out of five. I probably keep my shooting distance on animals with this bow between 25, 30 maximum. I won't shoot past that. Anyway, I hope this has helped, helped you guys out. Make you have a little target like this, set it up, figure out your gap, and practice and practice and practice, and it'll become second nature to you. All right, it's been... Okay. Now let's put, into practice, we just, let's put into practice what we just learned about gap shooting, okay? First we're going to shoot at 10 yards. Remember our 10 yard gap was about 15 inches, okay? So I'm going to lower this target down to about 15 inches. Now if my, if my grab is correct, I'm going to put my arrow right there. There we go. Once I aim here, all my arrows should be in this, hole, in this vicinity here. Let's put that to test. 10 yards. As you can see, at 10 yards, everything's on the plate, where right we're supposed to be at, okay? All right, let's try that same shot at 20 yards. I remember 20 yards, we were about 18 inches above the point of aim, okay? So let's go to 20 yards, move this up 18 inches right there. Still aiming right here now. We're still aiming directly right here. Look, we're still aiming here. 18 inches is my gap at 20 yards. Let's see what we can do. All right, hit the 20 yards.
Okay. As you can see with this one flyer, at 20 yards, everything's on the plate here. A little bit to the right, I guess. That could be me. But remember, my aiming point was here at 20 yards. All my arrows are hitting up in this area here. Okay, now the last thing I'm going to do is my 33-yard point on gap. And let's see where that thing hits on this target here. Okay? Here we go. 33-yard point on. Not too shabby. It's actually a pretty good group at 33 yards. I'm impressed. I didn't, that was just don't. That's not, I don't normally do. That's pretty pretty good luck right there. But as you can see, my point on. Let's get these out of the way. Everything's within. That's about a five inch group, six inch group at 33 yards. So let's get this. All right. Now as you can see my point on. My I was aiming right here in this area here with my tip of my bow, and everything hit within there. So as you can see, if you could put your gap training to use practice and train with it, you can get fairly accurate with it. Alright? Okay, I appreciate it. Alright, it's been Todd with All Things Archery and Shooting. I want to thank you for watching. If you like this video, click that like and be sure to subscribe if you haven't. Also, click that bell next to it so you can be notified of my other upcoming videos. I got a lot of more how-to videos, a lot of bow reviews. I got a real good bow review coming up here real soon. So it's be a, a Fred Bear um, signature takedown I'm doing a review on. Also doing a review on a Three Rivers Archery Stygian 56 inch um, recurves one piece bow. That's gonna be also really interesting. So be sure to look for those. All right, this has been Todd, All Things Archery and Shooting. Thank you for watching. And until next time, ciao.